Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Proposed rule for external display of registration number. Florida homeowner attempts to shoot down drone. And Parazero announces parachute systems for DJI Mavic and Phantom drones. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. A good friend once told us that the only good rumor was one that pays rent. We quite agree. That being said, the unmanned aviation rumor mill is working at a fever pitch lately, and in an effort to clarify a few things, AMA shared the following information with us. You may have heard about a recently proposed rule that would require small UAS operators to display their FAA registration number on the outside of their aircraft. This would be a change from the current rule, which allows for registration numbers to be placed inside battery compartments or other internal areas of the aircraft. The proposed rule is still in early stages and is not final at the time. The AMA Government Affairs team is working to learn more about the specifics of the proposal and identify a path forward for those this rule may affect. As we find out more details about the proposed rule, AMA will keep you updated. Please continue to monitor your emails, social media, modelaircraft.org slash gov, and of course the AMA drone report for more information. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. New UK rules will restrict all drones from flying above 400 feet and within one kilometer of airport boundaries. The changes will come into effect on July 30, 2018. The new laws will also require owners of drones weighing 250 grams or more to register with the Civil Aviation Authority and for drone pilots to take an online safety test to ensure the UK skies are safe from irresponsible flyers. These requirements will come into force on November 30, 2019. As a part of International Drone Day, the Minnesota Department of Transportation held their first annual Minnesota Drone Day in partnership with the Federal Aviation Administration and the Minnesota Drone Advocacy Council. AMA President Rich Hansen spoke at the event, providing information to the community on the latest drone regulations. Want to get the most out of your next vacation? A travel company known as Black Tomato has announced vacation plans that allow you to drone the world. Black Tomato notes that sometimes we feel the moment needs to be experienced without the interruption of capturing it on camera or smartphone, and from a totally new perspective that few others will have experienced before. It's with this notion in mind that we created our new world-first service, Drone the World. BT will provide expert drone pilots to capture your vacation and give you bragging rights the next time you compare travel experiences with the neighbors. A&N's video team caught another great interview at AUVSI's recent Expo trade show. Five organizations that flew drones on critical life-saving missions were recognized with the inaugural Excellence Humanitarian Award by AUVSI. The award is sponsored by DJI, Check out Aero TV Drones Impacting the World, DJI and AAVSI Recognized Life-Saving UAVs on ANN's Airborne-Unmanned YouTube channel at Airborne-Unmanned.net. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. A Bradenton, Florida homeowner fired several shots at a drone he claimed to be hovering over his property recently, but was unsuccessful at hitting the aircraft. The homeowner is Wilmer Yanes, 39, who claimed to notice a drone hovering over his property at around 6 p.m. He said the drone came within a few feet of the ground and he waved his hand at the camera-equipped aircraft, trying to show the operator that he wanted the drone away from his property. When it did not leave, he fired several shots from his 9mm handgun at the aircraft, but did not hit it or anyone else. 
Yang said he was concerned that the drone operator was a psycho who might be spying on his 16-year-old daughter. Yang's runs a construction firm and reportedly has a permit for the handgun. Police determined that the drone was being flown by a neighbor, who said he did not realize it was being fired on. He denies flying the aircraft over Yang's property. The operator showed his drone was operating legally and registered with the FAA. The patrolman educated Yanes on how to properly handle a firearm and informed him that shooting at a drone was not legal. ParaZero is adding parachute recovery systems for DJI Mavic and Phantom drones. The company's safe air system will detect when a drone enters freefall or excessive roll and will automatically stop the propellers and deploy the parachute. The company also makes parachutes for larger commercial drones. But the smaller size of the system designed for the Mavic and Phantom drones mean they can be repacked by the user. Avaram said that the parachute should be available this summer. It did not specify a price, but did say that it would be several hundred dollars. Still, that's less than the cost of replacing the entire drone. The system weighs about 3.5 ounces. It attaches to the top of the drone, which did not cause any problems with the test aircraft's GPS signal, despite being placed directly on top of the sensor. The company is also developing a parachute for the DJI Matrice 200. That parachute would not be repackable by the user. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program are Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.